hello dear students today we are going to deal with these terms and their types um, before really getting started let me tell you that we are discussing morphology of angiosperm stems uh, so let's move on with weak stems and their types you know that in majority of the angiosperm the stems are erect and they are self supportive they do not need any supportive structures to grow but there are some cases where the stems are so weak that they cannot hold on their own in a state they do need some supportive structures to grow and all these stems are known as weak stems okay and based upon the type of weak stem you have different types of plants first of all we will discuss creepers uh, those plants which creep or grow on the soil surface and produce roots at their nodes they are known as creepers and these plants are known to radiate in all the directions from the center and the example is cynodon okay here you can see this is cynodon on the image and you can yourself see on the underside of cynodon stem you have roots produced at the nodes and the next category of plants having weak stems is trella those plants in which the stem grows horizontally forward without roots at the nodes they are known as trellers so you can say that the only difference between creepers and trellers is in creepers you have roots at the nodes on the underside while as in case of trellers the roots are not produced on the nodes okay and the examples are alternanthera and borhavia okay this is in the image and this is borhavia then one more type of weak stems is trevenar uh, those plants which climb through a support by coiling around it they are known as trevenars example is diascoria epomia here you can see this is epomia and this is diascoria and both these uh, plants uh, they have climbed the supports by twining around it okay they have twined around the support and one more category of weak stems is climber plants which climb through a support with the help of specific structures they are known as climbers okay so you can say that the difference between a twiner and climber is in twiners you do not have uh, specific structures meant for climbing while as in case of climbers you have specific structures meant for climbing okay and there are different types of climbers first of all you have rootlet climbers okay uh those plants which climb through a support with the help of small rootlets they are known as rootlet climbers and the examples are piper beetle and cascuta here you can see this is cascuta okay uh, they produce small rootlets and these small root rootlets help these plants to climb okay uh, now one more type is hook climbers those plants which have some specific structures or hooks okay they have specific hooks meant for climbing okay uh, and the examples are you are having bougainvillea and arta botrys okay they have specific hook like structures and these hook like structures help them in climbing now one more type is trundle climbers uh, those uh, plants which climb through a support with the help of tendrils they are known as trundle climbers okay trundles are actually the modifications of leaves the leaves get modified into tendrils and these tendrils they help these plants to uh, climb okay and examples are passiflora and lathyrus okay here you can see this is lathyrus and it is having these tendrils okay tendrils and one more uh, category in this is adhesive disc climbers uh, those uh, climbers which climb through a support with the help of specific disc like structures they are known as adhesive disc climbers example is ampelopsis here you can see in the image this is ampelopsis it possesses some specific disc like structures and with the help of these discs it climbs the support okay 
an important note that you will remember once for all is uh, the woody climbers if you have a climber and that climber is not green it is not herbaceous it is woody that climber is specifically named as linea okay that climber is specifically known as linea and example is bougainvillea okay i will always i, I will once again repeat uh, if you are having a climber and that climber is not green it is not herbaceous it is woody remember that it is name should be given as linea okay it is named as linea you may be asked in the examination what is a linea and you will uh, say that it is a woody climber and one more important point that you will remember is if you are having a tuner and that tuner is not herbaceous it is woody it is specifically named as scrambler okay here you can see this is a scrambler okay and the only difference between a scram scrambler and a tuner is the tuners are they are herbaceous but the scramblers they are woody okay otherwise their way of uh, coiling around the support is same both the types that means both the tuners and the scramblers they climb to a support by coiling around it but the only difference is the tuners are herbaceous while as scramblers are woody okay example is calamus this is all for today uh, in the next part we will discuss the modifications of stem until then god bless you and thank you all